Today we're going to experiment on the effect of an inductor to the ripple of the power supply. So this is a an inductor capacitor filter that can be put in series to your power supply. <coughs> you can get this from eBay or AliExpress it cost about $10 each sometimes less during sale the inductor capacitor filter is uh, particularly useful for power supplies that uh, <coughs> do not have a built-in inductor as a filter So it can also be used for your old school power supply, just uh, with the <coughs> rectifier and capacitor. So you just need to put it in series with this. We're going to also test this later. For switch mode power supply that already has a built-in inductor, like this one, you can see it has an inductor here in series. It will still uh, reduce the ripple, but by not, uh, but uh, not so much. It will be very useful for power supplies, like this one. As you can see, it has no inductor filter, only a capacitor. Also, this only capacitor filter on the output like this uh, switch mode power supply there's also no inductor in this just capacitor filter anyway so that's our room temperature 16.8 degrees centigrade so I already have the switch mode power supply here hook up to the LC filter inductor capacitor filter as you can see this uh, switch mode power supply has no inductor on the outside uh, this is the probe for the scope I connected it to directly to the output of the power supply and there's also another probe here connected after the inductor capacitor filter so currently the output of the power supply is uh, 40 volts we have uh, 1 ampere load this 1 ampere this is here A ampere so this is the voltage output this is the wattage <coughs> this probe here is connected to channel 1 of the scope so the output of the switch mode power supply is this uh, yellow one and after this probe is connected to the scope to the this this is it the blue one unfortunately the scope can only display one set of <coughs> measurement each it cannot display both channels two channels at the same time so only one channel each so currently it's set to channel one so the ripple the ripple output of this power supply is being measured by this scope so this is it the yellow one see it's around 400 millivolts to 500 millivolts and uh, the blue one that is the output of the inductor capacitor fit inductor capacitor filter so we're going to switch to channel 2 to see the ripple on the of the channel 2 which is connected to the output of the LC filter so in order to switch to channel 2 you need to press this 
as you can see it's coming the set to channel 1 so you're going to channel 2 so that is the ripple after the after the LC filter so it's almost more than half the output uh, ripple of the power supply which is about 500 millivolts and after the LC filter okay, that's less than 200 millivolts that is with uh, 1 ampere load we're going to see amperes I don't know if this power supply can do 5 amperes it's rated at 500 watts continuous but at 25 degrees C and the 1000 watts peak for a few seconds but you know Chinese power supplies <laughs> always do not correspond to this uh, <coughs> to their advertised wattage maybe this can only do like 3 amperes I have the 2.5 amperes limit on our power, easy power source so we're gonna try 3 amperes and see the ripple I'm going to turn this off first off Ampere set. Okay, so <clears throat> we have now three amperes. We have almost 120 watts. So going to select channel one. Okay, so that's the ripple of. Uh, output of the channel oh yes <laughs> stuttering there. so channel 1 is connected to directly to the output of the power supply which has you no know, LC filter as you can see it it's almost 600 millivolt plus now that, that is with uh, 3 amperes load now we're going to see I'm going to switch to the other channel, channel 2 to see the output of the ripple after the LC filter so this is the ripple after the LC filter it's still around 200 millivolt, it's pretty good that's almost one third of the ripple of the power supply without the LC filter so can see that's the ripple it's very good that's 3 ampere load that is 120 wa uh, almost 120 watts per rail so that's around 240 watts Let's see if the power supply can do 4 amps. Maybe I'm, I have a fan here assisting the power supply. So it will not overheat. Maybe I'll increase the <coughs> supply of the fan to make it blow harder. And now I have uh, around 9 volts the power supply. And it's, uh, a bit loud now hopefully the power supply is not gonna overheat okay gonna test for ampere okay now we have 4 amperes 160 almost 320 watts of 4 amperes <coughs> we're gonna check the ripple channel 1 
almost uh, almost the same around 600 millivolts with an increase of 1 ampere on the load now we're gonna see channel 2 the ripple is still low almost less than uh, 200 millivolts so this uh, filter is uh, working pretty good in reducing the ripple of the switch mode power supply the coil is not not hot about the capacitor it's hot the capacitor is a little warm to the touch but not much about this capacitor maybe it will give me a shot and definitely I will not touch that primary ball capacitor give me an electric shock so that's it for the switch mode power supply we're gonna test, test this one next now I have this uh, power supply board connected so <laughs> old school transformer rectifier filter capacitor for 10,000 UF capacitor to each rail so uh, so 20,000 UF per rail same as before the the low the low wave here is connected directly to the output of the um, fil uh, capacitor filter board and the blue one is connected after the LC filter one amp load we have one amp ok now we have one ampere load so that's the ripple after the filter capacitor the yellow one is after the filter capacitor and the blue one after the this board inductor capacitor so that's the ripple we're gonna switch to the second channel And the ripple is almost the same it's almost no change so it looks like this uh, board has no effect with this uh, type of power supply I think the inductor is the inductance of the inductor is just too small okay, I'm going to we're going to go 5 amps straight ok 5 amps here okay, that's the ripple for 5 amps here So, so, <clears throat> so that's the ripple for the blue for the blue wave the blue signal that is connected after the LC board around 1.56 we're going to go to the yellow wave the yellow signal channel 1 
Okay. Almost the same, 1.52 by 4. So this, uh, you know, the this one is connected to this probe directly after the rectifier filter board. So this uh, LC filter board has no effect in using an old school transformer uh, rectifier filter capacitor has no effect in filtering the 50 hertz hum the mains hum almost the same the ripple is almost the same you can see our ripple here is uh, 100 hertz double the <coughs> the mains <coughs> mains frequency we have the mains frequency here 50 hertz and since we're using a bridge certifier the <coughs> frequency is uh, 100 hertz so it has an effect on filtering the uh, uh, signal uh, uh, 100 hertz uh, frequency so this uh, it's only useful for switch mode power supply and has no <coughs> effect on using this type of power supply. Once more, that's 5 amperes. Almost the same. Okay, that's it for today guys, <coughs> please subscribe to the channel and see you next time.